Welcome to SkillHeader with a unique solution. There are four methods for using Microsoft Access Database on multiple computers. All have different perspectives and structures along with pros and cons. Please find our website URL link in the description to read more about everything in detail. 1. By splitting tables into a separate access file to integrate with the front end based on local network attached computers. 2. Using SQL Server table to integrate with the access front end based on local network attached computers. 3. Using any cloud services drive like SkyDrive or Google Drive to integrate tables with the access front end. There are some restrictions to using this method. 4. Using a host SQL server to use access online from any location can be accessed through the internet. In this video, I will show you how to use the Access Desktop application software on multiple computers with multiple front end interfaces using the table split function. We will be using a local area network, which means all computers must be attached to the same network as a home internet router. And by the way, there is no need for the internet to use this method. Please comment and subscribe to the channel to empower your skills, like and share the video. This is not a network related video, but for your knowledge, we can use a simple LAN switch with manual IP addresses as well and all stations will work perfectly. Please comment in the comment box so this can be explained in detail in any other video related to local area network and how to establish without a router or DHCP server. Let's get started to explore how to do this. This is the desktop of the computer one screen and the name of the computer. Sharing must be enabled and the shared folder should be accessible from computer two. I am sharing a folder from computer one to access from computer two. We jump to the second computer screen. Network discovery and file sharing should be enabled to access the network elements. Our main computer name is shown under network here and now we can access the shared folders after giving credentials. We can split access database into two files with the option under database tools like this. As we can see, the tables are linked with the folder of the E drive. To better understand the link table, let's change the name of the backend file. File not found due to file name changed. Let's revert it and check again. Now, you understand the like table. So far, we have been working on our main computer. Let's create a new database and integrate the network backend table file into the database.
The tables have been integrated. I am going to show you a test record that appears in our main computer database as well. Great! It is working and records are available. Next, we will transform our front-end database on both computers. After this process, you will have an idea of how to manually integrate the back-end tables with the database. I am copying the same database file from the main computer. But its tables are integrated into the local drive. Excellent, all tables are updated with the network file. Please comment. If you have learned from this video, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. In the next video, we will learn how to connect SQL Server tables and queries to Microsoft Access Database and why we need to upgrade our database to SQL Server as a backend server. See you in the next video.